All right, now we've we've looked at symmetry several different ways. We looked at it with just points. We've looked at it with um, uh, you know graphs. Now we need to look at symmetry when it comes to plain old equations. And so what we're going to do with this example is we're going to go a little at a time looking at test for symmetry when we have an equation, how we go about determining it. So I've got an equation here, first of all, that is y equals negative 5x. And I'm going to do these symmetry tests. There's actually three tests that we have to perform. So it, to test the graph of an equation for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, it says replace the y with negative y in the equation. If an equivalent equation results, then we have x-axis symmetry. So I'm going to try x-axis symmetry first. And it tells me to replace y with negative y. So in my equation, we're going to put in negative y equals negative 5x. I'm just simply replacing the y value with negative y. Now, negative y, we don't really need the parentheses there because they don't really do anything. In order to get y alone, we'd have to divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply both sides by negative 1. And we would end up with y equals 5x. Now this is different from our original equation. So because it is not the exact same thing, there is no x-axis symmetry here. Okay, now let's try y-axis symmetry. And let's go back and read our definition. For y-axis symmetry, it says replace the x with negative x in the equation. If an equivalent equation results, then we have y-axis symmetry. So here we're going to take our y equals negative 5, but instead of x, we're going to replace that with negative x. And then simplify. So y equals negative 5 times negative x would be positive 5x. This again is not the same equation that we began with. So there is no y-axis symmetry. Now our final symmetry is origin. So we're going to try it now. <clears throat> now our, our definition says, for origin symmetry, we replace x with negative x and y with negative y. If we get the same equation, if an equivalent equation results, then we have origin symmetry. So this time I'm going to replace both. Instead of y, I'm going to put in negative y. And instead of x, I'm going to put in negative x. So now we have negative y equals positive 5x, and if I get y alone, we we'll divide both sides by negative 1, we get y equals negative 5x. Now this is the exact same as the original equation. So because of it, we have origin symmetry here. That's what those three tests help us to do.